Do you guys remember that giant glass cup we bought a while ago? See, here it is. Well, today we're gonna be filling it up with different stuff. Kinda like little science experiments. Yeah, science. But first we gotta get the supplies and then we'll show you exactly what we're doing. Let's go! We're in the store and we're actually gonna be doing three different things. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is Coke and Mentos to see what happens. What's the second thing? We're gonna fill up the whole thing with matches to see what would happen. And that's why we're right here by the matches. So we'll take all these. Thank you. And then we're also gonna do a dry ice experiment to see what happens. But this is gonna be good. <laughs> that's all of them. All right, we might need more. Okay, step two, the Coke and Mentos. We don't know if they have Mentos here though. They should. I mean, I'm almost positive they do. They better, or else somebody's fired. 87 cents for Sam's. And we ain't drinking this, so it don't matter. Ugh. Four? Yeah. 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 yeah, Mentos. Aha! Thank you. Well, we got a good amount of matches. But we need more than this. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. So, more pit stops. Oh, we found the jackpot. Oh, more than the other store here. Yeah, and they have really long ones too. Yes! All right, we are at the park now. We're gonna do our first experiment. Who wants to see what would happen if we fill up the glass with all the Coke and all the Mentos? Oh, Giant explosion? Me, me! All right! Oh, man, it's still got dirt in it from uh. the worms. <laughs> Yes, worm guts. <laughs> Science experiment set up. We're gonna have to open all, put the drinks in first, uh -huh. open all of these, Yeah. and then chuck them in and okay. run. Run? We might have like a geyser. Oh. It'll go so high. <laughs> I guess. Whoa. Last one. Wow. It is foam city in there, by the way. Good. All right, well now we gotta open the Mentos before all the carbonation <gasps> dissipates. You're right, hurry, give me some. I don't, I can't do this one-handed, okay? Andrew is holding all of the Mentos in his shirt and there's a lot. Ready to just dump them in there? Yeah. This better be a giant guy shirt, guys, get, get prepared. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. About. You! You! Yeah. Didn't do anything! Nothing! So, we just. <laughs> as, as you can tell, we aren't scientists. And Thought I'm not sure why there's not a reaction here. Can you explain why there's no reaction, boy? Yeah, well, the sulfuric um, ex. it didn't work. <laughs> Well, it is bubbling in there, but that's about it. See, they're all at the bottom. Well, I guess it has to be an enclosed area. Wow, this was an epic fail. That's all right, we still got two more experiments, and these are gonna work, no matter what. Made it back to the house, because we're doing experiment number two, which, like we said, is the dry ice. We're gonna get a bunch of hot, boiling water to put in here, because that's what helps the dry ice react the most. And we also got some soap over here. Oh yeah, soap makes a bubbly adventure. And look, here it is. We got two blocks, so this should be fun. We got the cup inside and we are filling it up with pure hot water. Wow, it's hot in there. Wow. I can't see a thing. We got it filled up to about halfway, I guess, but this is so hot now, we can't carry it. Yay. Got it out in the garage. So at first, we're gonna put the blocks in. After we see the blocks just by themselves, We'll add some soap, and we may be surprised. This better be better than the first experiment. Yeah. Oh, do that. Whoa, that's cold. Cold, hot, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> Guys, leave a comment right now. Do you think the dry ice is gonna make the glass blow up? That's what Andrew keeps saying. I'm not sure. Wow. Okay, I'm I am nervous. Dip in a little bit. 
Oh, Ooh, do that again. Cool. I want to get this angle. You ready? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That was barely a touch. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, boys. Look at this. Dude, look at the bottom. It looks so cool. Dude. It's cool because like the top is like bubbles, but the bottom you can see what's going on. Dang, look at that guys. <laughs> Number two. Uh oh. Look at the thing is shaking. Oh yeah. It's rocking back and forth. Right, here we go. Oh. Ah! ah! That is on super mode. Hey, Belkino. We shut the garage, guys. And Dude, now this it's looks filling cool. up the whole thing. This is so sick. Should I add some? Yeah. What happened? What is happening? It changed sounds! What the? It's like... Whoa! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's just shooting out. Like the bubbles everywhere. Dude, this sounds like an epic jacuzzi. <laughs> that sounds like some sort of a monster. Wow, if a monster sounded like that, <laughs> You'd be kind of scared, right? Ah, dude, it's like flowing everywhere. It's like hot lava. Literally. The ground is lava. Oopies. Oh, oh yuck. <laughs> you oh. goof. Guys, it is literally seeping like lava on the floor. Look. It's coming close to my fingers. You can tell it's moving. And now we are in a fog fest. <sighs> what do you got here? I got some lights, we're gonna dunk it in the tank and see what if it looks cool or not. Into the tank. Oh no. Oh dude, it looks so cool. It looks like lightning when they're in there. But right here, guys, doesn't it look like a cloud? Yeah. Looks like a big lightning storm. This is, if you guys see animated movies, this is how they do the animatronics for the light. <laughs> How long is this gonna last for? Good question. <laughs> Dude, those blocks are so big, they're gonna be in there forever. So this will never stop? No, never. <laughs> We're gonna have to dump this thing out in the snow. Whoa, look at it melt. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this thing, it's just a thing full of bubs. We're at a different location now, and as you can see, we're surrounded by snow. So this is going to be just right for this part of the experiment. See, and just like that, here's all the matches. I'm not gonna do any math to figure out how many matches we have. These are 32 count, we got a lot of those. These are 250 count, we got a lot of those. Contains 50 books, 20, wait, wait, 20 yeah. matches per book, 50 books. And we've got lots of those. And last but not least, we got these ones, 75. 75 in that big box. And so multiples of those. At least a thousand matches we got here. So we just gotta undo all these and then get all the matches in this. We got some rubber bands, cause that way, see, we can rubber band them all together and just create a match factory. There is no fire band here, as you can see, it's pretty snowy out, so don't worry, safety first. Tie in a small pack here. Nice. Got it set up right by the grills. There's water in here. You're trying to put it out. Oh no. First layer. Huh. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. It's time to do some tests. All right, try this one. Yeehaw! Oh, oh my. <laughs> This is gonna be fire. We're gonna surround this guy with all the littles. I created the inside with these little tiny ones that you actually have to break off. So we just chuck the whole thing in there because yeah. Okay, we've got the rest of the big matches ready to get installed. Oh, wow. Mm. 
Oh wow, boys. Is this the final countdown? Yeah. And what we're gonna have to do is light one up here but then also light one and then put it down here. So then it begins oh, to blast yeah. off. I also have this this gizmo that you go like this and you light all the matches on top. Does it work? I don't know. We're trying to predict if this is gonna destroy the glass. We don't know. Quick short story, back a long time ago, years ago, when I was living at my parents' house, you know, ramen, those noodles you cook either on the stove or in the microwave. Well, anyways, I had this like glass pot I put all the ramen in it and water, put it on the stove, and literally while I'm cooking it, I turn away, the whole glass explodes in my house. So if I was like near it, it would have exploded. But again, I don't know if this is gonna explode. So that's why we're like, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm nervous. I went out, it went out, it went out. Come on, boys. They don't want to light. Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers. Oh. Jump in there. I can't jump. <laughs> Holy. That was the top layer. Dude, it's like a smoke factory in there. Oh my goodness. Is it going to like go down? Oh, oh, oh it's lighting. <laughs> it looks like a weird. Dude, it's lit down there. <laughs> but they're not lighting off. Like a couple of them are. Maybe there's not enough oxygen in there. Ooh, you're sciencey. Once those top matches go down, look, I think more's getting lit. I'm gonna go on this side. I can't. Zoom in. <laughs> looks so weird. Oh, we need the bottom to ignite though. Cause I saw a couple like down in there getting on fire. We're just gonna have to wait till those sticks all burn to the bottom. Oh, oh, what? What is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, here. Right, right there. The, dude, it looks like, it's like they're lit, but they can't. See? Right there, guys. Huh. What is that? It's like part of the... Part of these strike striker things are uh, leaking oil or something. I think that's what leaking it is. Leaking oil? <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> See guys, this top layer here, huh? What? This top layer, this is the matches that are all burned. And then right below it, you've got this layer of fog, which isn't escaping. And then you've got all the other matches down here. <laughs> Just sitting in fog. <laughs> well, if it keeps burning, those sticks, it'll keep burning down. Maybe like in 10 minutes, I guess we'll see what happens. We weren't filming, but just out of nowhere, this little spot here started to ignite. I don't know how, like way down at the bottom, that started to catch on fire. You can kind of see in there now, there's like just like a big void. Whoa. Okay, we're creating a detonator to drop in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, ow, somewhere on that side. Why do these matches take so long to burn? That was a good detonator, but it didn't work. Well, I don't know if this will ever catch the bottom. You can just see like they're just melting. Yeah, and this isn't even, it's not even like hot down here. It's actually kind of cold, but obviously it's a little more hotter up here. Yeah, I think this science has concluded. I don't know if this will, yeah, I don't know if this will ever get down here and set it on fire. Maybe you guys, if you, if you do science fair projects, you can do this and kind of explain why down here it's not lighting. So you might get an A plus because of this idea. Obviously we're surrounded by snow, but we got water as well. Uh, ah! Ah! Oh, whoa, whoa! What? The glass cracked. Yeah, what the heck? Because of the cold water. Where did it crack? Whoa! Oh. Don't waste all the water! Oh! oh. What? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa! Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> what? Fire department! I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> the glass breaks upon touch of water. That was cool. Dude, look at this glass. It looks really cool. 
Maybe don't touch it yet, but I want to. Ah. Aha! Guys, we've made a lot of videos with this glass thing, but today is the end of Giant Glass Cup. Oh, now I gotta clean up these matches. <laughs> <laughs> Well, mission kind of success. Let's give a farewell salute to the glass. Many good vids. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like. And make sure you laugh daily as always. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. I don't know why we went into accent mode. <laughs>